The Spectrum definitely had a major impact on, on Britain, which was then boosted by the BBC machines. And there's the endorsement by the BBC as a corporation with their TV programmes. Um, what happens next? Well, we have to load the programme into the machine. So you type, load. LOAD. Um, to learn about computers and, 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 you know, buy one. The amazing BBC Micro. I mean, it was an incredible machine. government hopes to have a computer in every secondary school by the end of the year. And last month, a further £9 million was allocated to extend the scheme to the primary schools. And judging by the pupils' response, computers are in school for good. How would you describe the children's reaction to computers? Well, in the main, they're very, very enthusiastic about computers. As you've seen for yourselves, the computer club is usually swamped by the very young children. Our school only got BBC Micros just after I left, which is really annoying. <laughs> but having said that, they got them and they were really popular. Because one of the beauties of the, the BBC Micro is you could deploy a piece of software to every machine in the classroom with a single command. That is really, really powerful. You know, just script-driven, very, very simple. And that was actually a great machine for tinkering with, for pulling apart and seeing how things work. And we were so enthusiastic about programming computers and stuff, we just had to get our hands on a BBC Model B. It seemed like the best run, um, and I quite fancied having a good run rather than starting a bit lower down and at a cheaper level. I wanted to have something that I could do something with. Everything about it, it just seemed to be, to me, seemed better. So um, it was quite easy to start creating programs with it. Uh, but it also had built-in graphics, which meant you could very easily produce uh, images and then move them around. And then I started moving things on the screen really quickly. And, and that in itself was quite an addictive process. When you have success, you, it spurs you on. So, so I was quite happy then to get stuck in and, and try and produce something a bit more challenging. The BBC B was a very nice, very nice elegant platform. Um, the way they designed it was very straightforward, very logical. Um, it has a very kind of almost philosophical cleanliness to it. Very well thought out by people that obviously loved programming and wanted to support programming. And that's kind of what the BBC B was about. It was about, um, it was made by programmers. Plus it had the best games. <laughs>